When you're on an airplane, you have the unrivaled ability to see farther and wider than life on the ground. Welcome to another episode of Self-Employed Success Secrets Weekend Edition with me, your host, Marcus. On today's episode, we're going to talk about taking your life up a notch, okay? How to, and embracing higher level thinking. Uh, the problem that this video is going to solve is that if you are stagnating in life or you feel like you're stagnant, I'm going to give you four strategies today to help you get out of that stagnation. And this video matters because everybody wants to go up in life. Okay, Everybody wants to go from A to B, B to C, etc. Okay, And also stay tuned for the very end for a surprise. And I hope you enjoy the contents of this video. That's a uh, key point to remember. Everybody wants their life to go up. But... As in most things, most people are not willing to pay the price for their life to go up. Okay? And remember, every time you don't do the thing you know you should do, you're robbing from the happiness of your future self. Okay? A lot of us are thieves, and we ain't stealing from anybody else. We're stealing from the most important person in our life, which is ourselves. Okay? Stop stealing from yourself by a lack of discipline. Okay? The Bible says people die because of a lack of discipline. They can't control themselves. And they go off and do bad things, but this is not what this video is about. This video is about taking your life up to the next level, okay? As we talked about with planes, go back to this very basic truth. When you're on a plane, you see farther and wider than you do than life on the ground, okay? This is a very important concept. I'm going to get right into the video. So this is all about taking your life up. I just want to start off with an example. Have you ever noticed how when you're at work, you're the boss and the lower level employees don't really fraternize? They don't hang out. Did you know that investors of companies get treated better than employees? Okay. And there's a reason for this. this is my, the first thing I want to talk about is how to raise your life up and get to another level is standards. Okay. Which are standards are basically established um, benchmarks for living. Okay. Like if you have a standard of I'm going to drink water two cups of water every day before I do anything else. That's a standard, okay? It's an established benchmark for living, okay? That's why the boss and lower level employees don't really hang out after work because they have different standards. This is the first thing you want to do if you want your life to go up is to have a standard, okay? And I, I talk about being self-employed. And if you ever notice in these videos, on these videos, I don't really talk a lot about having a business because I don't have a business, okay? And really, I want to give you an example of having high standards is that having a small business is going to help you to raise your standards because when the technical definition of having a business means you earn over one million dollars in revenue okay if you're not making a million dollars in revenue all the money that comes in before expenses you're not a small business you're self-employed so knowing that information right there is going to allow you to raise your standards okay? that's the first thing you want to do if you're stagnant you want to take your life to the next level is standards okay raise your established levels of being okay right now i want to go from being self-employed to having a business a million dollars that's at that's the bare minimum to have a, a successful business is to have a million dollars in revenue when i saw that i raised my standard okay? that's first thing you want to do. the next thing you want to do is struggles okay hardships pain difficulties are going to lift your standards are going they're not going to lift your standards excuse me they're going to change your living situation they're going to take you to a higher level it's very, it's very counterintuitive how going lower, facing difficulties in life can bring your life higher. Okay, and there's a lot of things like this in real life. How sometimes like you gotta take two steps back to take five steps forward. And that's a net benefit of three steps, okay? So the first two are standards and struggles, okay? Hardships, difficulty, and pain are gonna transform you the same way you know, a caterpillar goes from a butterfly is through pain, friction, and struggle that you're going to go to a higher level. So don't, and so don't run away from the pain you have in your life. Okay, but as in most things, people run away from the hardships in their life. Very sad how our nature destroys us. On to the next thing. The next thing, if you want to raise the standard or you want to see your life get better and go to a higher plane in life and turn the notch up, turn the volume up in your life, is to get around people that are already where you are, okay? Get around people that are winning, okay? You, you, may, you may be asking yourself, there's not many people I know who are winning. Well, what you can do is get to, <clears throat> is just get around these people. Someone's winning in your area, winning's relative, okay? Winning may not be, these persons have a million dollars. Winning could just be the fact that 
hey, they're doing better than you. Get around these people that are already at a different level than you that will raise you to a different level, okay? All right, so I really want you to think about it. And the last one is books. And also, too, this, this list is not comprehensive. Um, it does not mean I'm not listing everything that's going to take your life to the next level, but just focusing on these four will help you to just have a better life, okay? Because remember, like in an airplane, when you're in an, when you're in an airplane, you have the unrivaled ability to see farther and wider than you do than life on the ground, okay? Basically, these four things are allowing you metaphorically to get on an airplane and see above your circumstances, see above your life, see things you can't see, okay? Go places you've never gone before. Okay, these four things, struggles, standards, books, people, are all things that I've done that will lift your life out of a row. Just reading a book and books give you ideas to accelerate. Okay, no one wants to stagnate, but these are tips to accelerate. So today's secret is apply these four things I'm talking about. Okay, apply them. Don't just listen to them, apply them, okay? And hopefully you get something good out of this, okay? Thanks. Now on to today's surprise. Today's surprise is this. The world bestows its rewards for results, our inward selves for effort. Very, very true. Okay, so hopefully throughout the course of this video, you're able to take something away. If, you're, if you feel stuck in life, apply these four things, you will get unstuck very quickly, okay? And remember, lastly, as always, unsuccessful people make decisions based on their current situation. But successful people, you hopefully are making decisions based on where you want to be. Understand that it's very easy to get stuck in life. And these four things I talked about, standards, struggles, books, and other people are going to help you get to the next level in your life. Whatever that next level may be, whether it be from being an FTE to being self-employed, from self-employed to having a business, everybody has a next level. And this business is going to help you to get there. But remember that a lot of these are going to be hard, okay? It's, it's going to be hard to find people in your area sometimes that are doing better than you. It can be hard to go through struggles for a very long time and remain patient, okay? I didn't say any of these were easy. It's just that they'll help you. Books is probably the easiest one, but still you got to spend time and energy on a book. So it's not really easy. So anyways, hopefully you had this. You uh, got some good from this and that you have a good Sunday. Okay, bye.